All right, so now for the next organism we should be looking at is the uh, Schistosoma hematobium. So we actually have different types of um, Schistosoma. So we have the Schistosoma mansoni. We have the Schistosoma japonicum. Then we have the word Schistosoma hematobium. So for this Schistosoma hematobium, um, we'll look at the transmission. That's basically the life cycle. Just uh, overview. Uh, we'll look at the health impact. Okay. What are the different types of problems that this organism can actually cause to you? They'll look at the risks of developing a cancer if you have this parasite in you and all of that. So, so that schistosoma hematobium is also known as what? Urimi blood fluke. All right. So it's actually a parasitic worm that primarily what infects the urinary tract. Okay. So if you take it up, you can see that what it has some problems in the urinary tract too. Like can actually cause some problems in the urinary tract. Yes, your large intestines and also your small intestines can also be affected by this. Okay. So it's dominantly found in Africa and the Middle East. All right. So the infection is, also, is actually known as what? Urinary schistosomiasis, okay? So it occurs when people come in contact with what? Contaminated water, all right? So the life cycle of this organism have to do with what? Going into the water, so probably you are a tourist or you live in these areas, okay? So you come in contact with water, that's um, probably where you actually got the disease condition, all right? So for transmission, we said that people get infected when Larval forms of the parasites are released by freshwater snakes, uh, snails, sorry. So this is snails, right? So it actually goes into the snail, all right? So it's the snail that releases the larvae, okay? So if you swim, by venture the water into your eye, or you swallow it, then you stand a chance of actually getting infected, okay? And if you're infected by this type of what? Schistosomia or schistosoma, what you develop is actually what urinary schistosomiasis. Now, what is the health impact? We said that eggs of the parasite can cause damage to the urinary tract, leading to symptoms like what blood in urine. So, patients that have urinary schistosomiasis, they usually will urinate with blood in it. Okay, and there will be pain when you urinate that dysuria. So chronic infections can lead to what? Bladder fibrosis and an increased risk of you developing bladder cancer. Okay. So for cancer risks, we said that hemat uh, schistosoma hematobium is classified as a group one carcinogen by the Inter Intentional Agency for Research on Cancer, meaning it is well established in the cause of cancer, right? So the most common type of cancer associated with this is the bladder squamous cell carcinoma. So for preventive measures include just avoid contact with contaminated water and you can use uh, drugs like what praziquantel to actually treat it okay so that's if what schistosoma hematobium